In the previous section, we came to the conclusion that there is so much of code duplication going on here between cat and dog components. We identified that there are only a couple of changes between them, which is the name of the pet, either cat or dog component, and the image URL that we pass to the src attribute of our image tagger react element. So we'll devote this section to refactor into a single reusable pet component that serves both the needs of our cat and dog components by accepting suitable props. Before that, firstly, let's open our homepage component. And if you notice here, we have defined our style object inside the function itself. It's actually a kind of bad practice to do that because whenever our homepage functional component gets invoked, it's going to define this style object every time. Rather, we can define this only once outside of our component and use inside it just like we are doing here. In this way, we can save a few CPU cycles while processing our application. So I'm going to cut this piece of code from inside our homepage functional component and I'm going to paste it outside here like this. Okay, let's save it and check our application is working fine on the browser. All right, let's clear up this console. Fine, looking good. Coming to our actual topic of discussion, we have already discussed how closely components resemble with functions. Remember that components can also take input as props. So we can accept pet name and pet image URL as input to our components using props rather than hot coding the data directly inside them like this. We can use the data inside our props object. This is how props helps us to create reusable components just like function arguments make functions reusable for different inputs. So what we are going to do now would be, rather than two separate cat and dog components here, we'll define a single pet component. And inside our home page component, we compose two react elements of our pet component, one for each cat and dog by passing appropriate props to them. All right, let's start refactoring them. Before we do anything, let's first copy cat image URL and put it inside our homepage.js file in a comment. So I'm going to copy this cat image URL and inside our homepage file over there at the top, I'm going to keep it in a comment like this. And let's do the same for our dog as well. So I'm going to copy my dog image URL over here and paste it here. Fine. Now let's refactor our dog component to pet component. So let's rename our doc component.js file to pet component.js like this. Fine. And delete our cat component.js file because it is no more needed. As we are going to define and use a single reusable component, which is pet component for now. And Let's change the name of our doc component inside our pet component.js file to pet component here and inside our module.exports in the final statement pet component. Okay. Inside the render method of our pet component, let's change the name from dog to whatever we received through props. Let's say the name of our property is pet name. So I'm going to write this dot props dot pet name instead of dog over here and I have to keep it in braces because it's a JSX and this is JavaScript expression inside it. Okay. And instead of hard coding this SRC attribute also, we can get its value from props as well. So I'm going to remove this and I'm going to keep it as this dot props dot pet image URL. Assuming we are going to send pet image URL from outside to our pet component. And also instead of our on click callback methods, Instead of using hard coded names, I'm going to replace them with this dot props dot pet name like this. And same thing here, this dot props dot pet name. Okay. Let's do the same for our alt attribute also over here. Instead of dog, I'm going to write this dot props dot pet name. And since this whole is a JavaScript expression now, I need to wrap it in braces like this. All right, let's save it now. Now we need to use pet component inside of homepage component instead of using cat and dog components. So let's navigate to homepage component. And first thing that we need to do is to fix this import statements. Let's do that. Let's remove this cat component import statement and replace this dog component with pet component over here. 
like this fine now inside the render method of home page component rename cat and dog with pet and remember we also need to pass props to the pet components accordingly so let's pass prop name pet name equal to cat for the first pet component react element like this and for the second pet component react element pass the prop pet name equal to dog okay and let's copy our image urls mostly for cat image url and let's create a new prop pet image url and assign our copied link to here okay and let's do the same for our dog also pet image url equal to let's copy our dog image urls link and paste it here fine let's spread it over multiple lines so that it looks easy on our eyes and let's do the same for this also okay let's save it now before we check our output on the browser let's remove the comments at the top as we no longer need them and save it and flip back to our browser and we can see that our cat and dog components got rendered perfectly but we are missing an important thing here and so even our ui looks perfect clicking on the button won't make it work as expected and throw some error let's see it in action now as i mentioned there is some error popped up on our console it says cannot read property props of null at handle like button click let's fix this error in the next section and for a moment let's fix the warnings first that are shown up here they say warning style was used before it was defined and similarly another warning com style was used before it was defined and warning button style was used before it was defined all right the warning say we are using style object here before it got defined which is over here and similarly inside our pet component we are using com style and button style before it got defined over here at the bottom okay create react app throws the warning if you use the variable before defining it in order to fix this we need to define our style and com style and button style objects first before using them inside our component code let's do that now i'm going to move my style objects definition to the top so i'm going to cut this portion of code and i'm going to paste it over here before our home page component gets defined so that we'll first define our style object and then we are using it inside our home page components code let's save it and similarly do the same stuff for our pet component as well so inside it i'm going to cut this com style and button style objects definition and i'm going to move it over to the top before using them inside our pet components code over here fine let's save it and flip over to the browser now one final time all right there are no warnings now on the console let me pull up the diagram on screen to show how our component tree now looks like after removing cat and dog components and defining a single reusable pet component our top level home page component is now composed of two pet components elements one corresponds to cat and other corresponds to dog both of the pet components receives props which are pet name and pet image url with different values and render them on the ui accordingly okay to sum up the story so far the main thing we achieved here is reusability and removed code duplication instead of writing redundant code in two components we effectively refactored the code into a single component which can be used to render the image of any pet by passing appropriate props suppose if there is another pet named rabbit needs to join the group then we don't need to create a separate component for it just passing the required props to pet component will make it render as a rabbit component just like how we did for cat and dog here see the reusability is elegantly achieved here a reusable component is a specific container which can take input and store as well render some kind of data thus flexible enough to reuse it anywhere in the code base having a palette of reusable components really pays off in larger applications and saves hell a lot of time as well the removed code duplication also the main aim of having components in react is to let us split the ui into independent and reusable pieces and think about each piece in isolation so reusability is very important thing to consider related to a component i will also mention a couple of guidelines here in regard to a component first point is if you think that the component will be reused in multiple places then from the starting itself we can create a reusable component and the second point is if you are not sure whether the component may be reusable create a specific component like we did for cat and dog 
then transform it to accept different props and make it a reusable component. Before we wrap our discussion, I just want to discuss one more point here. Dividing React application in reusable components not only helps in removing code duplication and save time, but also helps in composing our components in different ways. For example, let me head back to the browser. Currently, I have cat's data on the left and dog's data on the right. But if I need to render dog data on the left and cat's data on the right, all I need to do is to change the composition order in our homepage components code over here. Let me show it for you. I'm just going to change their composition order like this. That is, for the first pet component element, I'm sending dog's data as its props. And for the second one, I'm sending cat's content as its props. Alright, let's save it and flip over to the browser. Now, we got dog's data on the left and cat's data is on the right. So, smaller reusable components also helps us to do composition in different ways with a minimal effort in React. Alright, I'm reverting back to the previous state. Okay, let's save it now. Fine. Let's fix our buttons click issue in our next section.